Hello everyone, welcome to Michael's Blog in the Philippines. I'm going to do another video for you guys. Today I'm going to talk about my experience with hourly jobs versus fixed jobs. Now, there is a guy on YouTube I was watching, he was like, you know, you should do fixed jobs. Don't do hourly jobs, do fixed jobs because you can maximize your income. So I gave it a try. And you know, my first experience wasn't positive. It doesn't mean that you can make more money. I mean, it doesn't mean that you can't make more money doing fixed jobs. But my experience was when I took that fixed job is that the client wanted lots and lots of hours of work. And, you know, obviously, as you increase your hours of work in a fixed rate, your hourly pay would go down if you average it out on an hourly rate. And so through that experience, I got paid so very little money that I realized the only time that, you know, you want to do that is in special cases, which I'm not going to go into what those special cases are right now. But my experience is. If you're going to take a fixed job, you better have some parameters that you discuss with the client so that you're not up there making like, you know, I'm talking about ultra low wages per hour. I mean, it was just insane how little money that I made from that fixed price, fixed price project because I'm used to making a lot more, you know, because I'm usually under hourly. So my advice to you, if you do a fixed job, pay job, make sure that you have a clear understanding that you're not going to exceed a certain number of hours for that project so that you don't be on the losing end of the stick, you know, and, and when they're asking for a bunch of uh, help or revisions within a small, you know, fixed rate, it can cause a big issue for you. So, you know, whereas with an hourly rate job, you know exactly what you're going to get paid for the time that's put into it. And, you know, you can you can figure out the, the total value that you're going to get from uh, providing a service to that uh, particular client that you're working with. Now, um, for me, I probably will not do any more fixed price jobs anymore. That's something that I want to try to avoid uh, as much as possible because of that bad experience with it. Again, not that I can't have a positive experience with it, but if I ever do do a fixed price job, I'm going to define exact parameters of, okay, if we're going to do this fixed price project, we're not going to exceed this many number of hours. That way, I know exactly what I'm getting. And the client understands exactly what they're getting, you know, and uh, you won't have a bad experience with that. But my thinking is stay away from the fixed price jobs unless it's a really big budget and you define exactly what the terms and conditions are. Now, the benefit of the hourly rate is that that's not going to change. No matter how many hours you work, it's going to always be the same. Uh, it's a safer investment, if you ask me, to invest in you know trying to get clients that pay you an hourly rate so that's my advice on fixed rate jobs versus hourly rate jobs now if you work fixed rate jobs and you had a positive experience share your wisdom with me in the comment section and maybe i need to go back to the drawing board and figure out if maybe i took the wrong approach maybe the ideas i presented in this video are not smart enough to maximize my return on investment for the fixed rate jobs and maybe you have a bit more wisdom which is fine i'm always trying to learn Drop that comment in the comment section and I'll learn from you what's the best way to handle a fixed rate job or should I, is or is my wisdom correct? Just stick with them hourly rate jobs. It's safer, safer uh, uh, pathway for you that guarantees you exactly what you're going to get for the, the service that you're uh, giving a particular client. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did. Uh, definitely leave a, a comment. Don't forget to embed sh uh, and share the video with others. And I hope to see you in future videos on Michael's vlog.